Hello there and welcome back again today. Thank you so much for coming back and uh, visiting me. That's absolutely like so fantastic. I hope you're having a great day today. What have you been up to? I, not much, like uh, not much today. Anyway, you don't need to know. So guys, anyway, so today we're going to be trying out the third and final mini eyeshadow palette from You Can Be. So I have tried out the Swing palette and I've also tried out the Marvel palette. I loved both of these palettes. I think they're very different to each other, but the formula in both is of an extremely high quality. I think for the price, these are fantastic palettes to have in your arsenal. So today we are going to be trying out the Monroe's Walk palette. This one is an all shimmer palette. And I think I've made it clear what my thoughts are on all shimmer palettes in the past couple of videos. I just find them challenging because I just like being able to reach for a palette that's got mattes, shimmers, it's just got everything in there that I need to create a look. So I'm not the hugest fan of all shimmers in a palette because to me it's just kind of like... I was going to say something really naughty. I was going to say, it's like going to a swingers party and they're just being all lesbians there. I mean, I feel like people are going to hate that comment, but that's just what came to my mind. I just feel like you're a little bit limited when you have all shimmers because you're probably going to have to get another palette to co-pilot so that you can get a little bit of like matte going on in your crease or whatever. I'm still thinking of the swingers party and I'm thinking matte in your crease. Yeah. Right, anyway, so this is what the palette looks like. It costs £3.90, which is the same price as the other two. You can buy this from AliExpress or you can buy from Amazon. As always, you will probably find that on AliExpress, the prices are lower, but delivery will take longer and vice versa with Amazon. I think that all of the shimmers inside this palette are beautiful. They look very pretty and they are actually described as being holographic shimmers, but like, I can't really see that, you know, just by looking at them. I mean, like, I, I don't really even know what, what is holographic. Like, I don't know. I feel like in my mind, holographic. Like, I, I think I get confused with holograms because I almost expect that this is going to be like a hologram of, and I just don't know why that would be necessary. But anyway, so I'm going to begin with doing some swatches and then I'm just going to move on to applying as many as I can onto my eyes, but it's going to be tough because they're, they're all shimmers. So it's a bit tough, but I can get a good feel for the formula and you can see how they swatch and you know what the shades actually look like. So I just thought it'd be fun just to like go through it all today. So, okay, let's be again, by the way, I know someone's gonna ask. So if I had to say my favorite palette of these three is definitely the Marvel palette. I just thought the formula was exceptional. And also I think it's just personal preference on the shades. I feel like I would reach for these shades more than I, oh, Shania Twain, almost dropped it. Yeah, I feel like I would reach for this more than the Swing palette. But anyway, we've not tried the Monroe Walk palette yet. I mean, even though I've got these massive probably unwarranted reservations about an all shimmer palette. You never know, it might be like really, really good. I don't want to get any shimmer on my new cardigan from Boohoo. I mean, it it, it was cheap, but I feel like this, this is unacceptable. Like what's going on here? Like it looks like they've not sewed it properly. Like I could have done a better job of sewing that and I've never sewn anything in my life. So it's a little bit janky. I don't think I would take this to the office but it's great for around the house, but I still don't want to get anything on it. Do you know what? I freaked out then. Can you see my little bag there? Just out of the corner of my eye, as I was talking, I was thinking, is that a little ghost boy? Like, what? I was like, what? What is he doing there? Like, oh my gosh. But then I realized, no, I mean, it's fine. It's just your holographic bag trying to make you shit yourself, like literally. Okay, so these are the first four. I'm really loving this like bright pink and also the emerald green. Oh, 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 oh. So there we go for the first four. 
I've still not really seen like holographic, although I still don't know what it is. Shall we look up the definition for holographic? Let's have a look. So holographic definition. Okay, let's see guys. We will solve this age old mystery of relating to or being a hologram. What? Or less commonly, holograph of a document written entirely in the handwriting of its author. What? Guys, this has only confused me more. They've given you an example like in context. Daryl Hall says the large, garish, holographic photo of Martin and Lewis that he displays in his otherwise rustic farmhouse appeals to his perverse sense of humour. What? What? What the feck is holographic? Guys, like, I'm not even joking. Like this, this is what it says, holographic. And then it's just got a load of words that don't make any sense. Right, anyway, so back to the swatching. Okay, so these are the next four. I can kind of see there's a little bit of dual chrome action going on with this beautiful purple, I almost said pink. Oh, look, my nails on its way off. Can you see that? Oh, I wanted to like rip it off before, but then I realized it was still stuck on. Oh, hello. Do you know what? These are looking actually really, really pretty here. Okay, so I really like that one. That's my favourite, of course. So, okay, I think these swatches are actually really beautiful. I think you can get a really good idea of the shades. I think the shades would probably, you know, appeal to quite a lot of people. Okay, so now we are just going to try out uh, one, two, all of these on my eye. I feel like this pink or this one, like all of them are kind of drawing me in actually, but... Yeah, I'm going to go for the light pink first. Oh no, I'm going to go for this one first and then we can maybe like work our way through the pinks. Although this shade in the middle is beautiful. Um, okay, let us let me just uh, get stuck in there. Um, this pink here is like super chunky, you know, compared to the rest. So I'm just going to go in with my finger. Oh, this is nice. This is nice. I feel like you're getting to really look at my lower teeth here. Oh, and I've got making ah ah guys okay so let me see in the little mirror in the palette mm, i know i don't really like that guys it's not very just not a nothing like there's nothing it's not glowy it's not like a shimmer it looks quite chalky and dry no i'm not liking that one. Oh my gosh that, that's not a great start let me see can i just wipe it away yes i'm gonna just use my cardigan i know i didn't want to get any eyeshadow on it but extreme situations call for extreme measures uh okay so yeah i didn't like that one i'm gonna have a little go of this pink one and i'm just gonna like pop it in the inner corner oh no guys i don't really like that one either again it just looks a bit dry a bit just a bit like chunky you know and i'm not really down with that so i'm gonna bring out the big guns i'm gonna bring my setting spray and I'm going to get a brush and we're going to see if we can kind of make these work because I'm feeling like you definitely will need a wet brush. I know that I always use a wet brush anyway, you know, with every kind of a uh, shimmer, but yeah, I feel like we, we're going to need it today. Like, why can I not find my brush anywhere? Guys, I seriously need some new brushes. I know I've been harping on about this for multiple videos in a row now, but... Yeah, I need some more. And I did actually treat myself to some Jessup ones from AliExpress, which I'm so excited about getting. So yeah, I'm gonna be doing like new brush hauls soon, hopefully, maybe in like six months when they actually arrive. But you know, anyway, okay. So I have sprayed some Fix Plus. Do you know what I'm gonna do, guys? I'm gonna go into, I'm gonna go into the deeper pink and I'm just gonna like pop it here. Okay, so that's beautiful. Oh my gosh. Look, can you see this, guys? <gasps> that looks really pretty. Oh, I really like it. Just the perfect shade of pink. And, like, I don't know if it was just a fixed plus. Should we try some on the other lid? 
and we can see like is it just a fix plus or can it look bombastically fantastic by itself yeah you definitely need fix plus with these eyeshadows because otherwise like as you can see they just look quite dry and chalky and chunky and all the things that you do not want with a shimmer um but over here you can see there's some kind of metallic intensity going on which you know that's what you want in a shimmer so i'm going to just go back in again i'm just going to go back over this eye with the wet brush and what i'm going to do now i'm going to go back in with my finger and i'm just going to like put that on top of that eyeshadow because i find that that can sometimes you know give you a lot more a lot more like just a lot more by the way you know i've still not got my car back from you know when it got hit by a bus like it's still in in for repair and whenever i phone up they keep saying oh we're just waiting for parts i'm like what fecking parts are you waiting for just the wing mirror needed replacing and that's it but I've got to the point now after like 10 phone calls where they just keep insisting we're waiting for parts. I'm thinking, no, you're fobbing me off is what's happening. You're, this is just what you do. This is your line. Oh, waiting for parts. It's, you, everyone's laughing in the office. Oh, waiting for parts. Yeah, like, tell her that. Yes. Yes, waiting for parts. Feck off. Like, I, do, I know you're not waiting for parts. I just think you're just trying to piss me off on purpose like really. So next we're going to go in with this beautiful like, I don't know what shade it is, but... I'm going to pop up my eyelid. I love the pink, by the way. Sorry, guys, for just abandoning you. I'm just going to put my phone on charge because for some reason, like, I know you, you do not need to know this right now, but my battery just keeps going, like, super quick. Oh, yeah. Do you like my new pants as well? Aren't you glad you came here today, guys? Like, really? Oh, and I've not got a bra on either, so that's fantastic okay so anyway what was i doing okay yeah back to this so i'm gonna go in with this middle one i've just i just put my phone over there and some fecker rings me I bet it's the gary saying oh we're just waiting for fecking parts oh, fuck off. Oh. no i'm not gonna get that no don't do not want to speak to that person that's just no thank you not today i'm busy like literally do you ever do that like i never answer my phone i can't be asked like i feel like if i want to talk to you i will phone you and if i'm not phoning you i do not want to talk to you so sorry like I, i'm a terrible answering my phone anyway right so we're going in with this sorry about the background noise guys i'm not answering I'm not answering. Stop ringing. Thank you. Okay, so this is really, really pretty as well. I just feel like I would be struggling right now if I did not have a, a wet brush, you know? And, like, obviously I've used, um, like, a setting spray, but, you know, you can you could even just use your spit, you know, just, like, give your brush a little lick. You know, you don't have to, like, spend money on any kind of setting spray or anything. Okay, so there we go. Like, I think these are beautiful. They're really, really beautiful. Without a wet brush, I wouldn't recommend. Like, I think they look terrible. But with, with a wet brush, I think they're really, really pretty, actually. I am going to just uh, do the other eye. Just using my finger just to like, add a little bit more on the outer vagina okay so i mean there we go like i actually really really like these these eyeshadows i actually think they're really pretty and i'm just gonna like i don't know i feel like this could really mess it up but do you know what i feel like i'm not gonna do what i was going to do but i might just get a um do i have a clean brush do I? Anywhere? Okay, so I've got a fluffy brush and I'm going to go in with, I'm going to go in with this lighter pink and I'm just going to like, just put that all in here kind of situation 
Oh, it's not done anything. Like, that's not done anything right. Okay, like, that did nothing. So, um, I'm going to just go with, like, you know, the pink that we like. This that deeper kind of pink. And again, I'm just going to, like, pop that. Okay, so I feel like these shadows do not work with fluffy brushes. Like, they just don't. So, don't bother. Like, don't waste your time. So, I'm actually going to go into, like, the lighter shade, which is quite chunky. But I'm just taking the gamble. And I'm going to pop that in, like, the inner corner. I'm just putting that in, like, the inner corner. It's actually really, really nice now. I really like these shimmers. I think you could have so much fun with these shimmers. But like, as I've said like a million times, use a wet brush. You Use one of these like flat like brushes because fluffy soft brushes will not give you anything. And I just think you can get the best out of the shadows, you know, if you use a wet brush. I am going to go ahead and just finish off the entire makeup look and I will be back in a sec. Okay, so I have finished the look for today. It is a pinky, icy, kind of purpley look and I'm really, really liking it. Honestly, at first when I started to apply one of these shimmers and it was chunky and chalky and it just looked very not good like it looked very not good I wasn't feeling very optimistic but then as soon as I moistened my brush all of a sudden everything fit into place I have no idea what I'm saying I've literally just been talking to my uh the area manager for the cleaning company who we use at work and I've been talking about steam cleaners and now I've lost my mind like I can't my mind is just on a whole other track at the moment but anyway Oh, the light's changing and it's looking a lot. It's just looking great. Thank you, light. For once, you're on my side. I mean, really, guys. I think if you want a palette full of some beautiful shimmers, then I would definitely recommend this. I think £3.90 is a very affordable and reasonable price for this. So I'm going to go, but I hope that you're having a wonderful day. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. I'm liking this. The more I look at it, like the more I like it. What I don't like though is the lipstick on my teeth. Like I don't like that. But anyway, I'm too lazy to get it off. But anyway, guys, I am going to go. Thank you so much for watching as always. And I will see you again in the next video. Bye.